Hey, hey, Duelist, it's Sinister. Welcome back to the Ancient Games. And remember, I always return to your hand. Today, I am facing off in World Championship 2008 versus Bianca from the Discord server. And I have no idea what they're playing. I actually owe them a duel because last time we had a structure deck duel that we did not record with uh, and Levy a Dragon Daedalus happened, and it was very, very messy. So today, let's see if it is indeed over 9,000, is enough to blow through Bianca and whatever deck she might be using today. So I am using It's Over 9,000, and an Eye of Truth is the opening here, so I'm thinking this is bad reaction to Saimochi. I actually played Nurse Burn quite a bit uh, back when I was married. I played um, Nurse Burn in a couple formats after Cyber Dragon, uh, with like Nurse Reficule and Gift Card, and stuff like that. Yes, I realize those are not in 2008, but it's okay. So, it, it's so funny because we're talking in chat the whole time, and, and they're like, you think this is a bad reaction to Samochi? That's hilarious. Um, Huge shout-outs to the entire community for everything. Uh, you guys have been incredible. The support on the first video has been way more than I ever could have anticipated, and I want to help this server grow. Remember, guys, if you are enjoying the music that we're playing in today's show, go ahead and let me know. Also, as I stated all of the newer recordings after all the ones I have will be recorded in the new hybrid style, so you'll easily be able to follow what is going on on both sides of the field. Now, for those of you that are just joining us, we all have a 2008 World Championship Wi-Fi match versus Bianca from the server. You should definitely join that server. The link is down below in the description. I realize I did not get it on the last video, but as of the update of this video, it is in both of the description of both of them. So, that being said, we've got a really, really cool match. I'm going to go ahead and flip Dakochi here. Dakochi is going to go ahead and draw one card. I need to get to an out. Uh, I'm way behind in the duel. There was a very big, very strong opening from Bianca with the Mind Crush into Heavy Storm. And Heavy Storm was a really, really nice card that I needed. So now I'm like, okay, my out is like Giant Trudane and stuff like that. Um... Because Heavy was already knocked out. And it's so funny because I'm so not used to Mind Crush. I'm so used to the fact that, like, Heavy Storm went back to the deck. So I'm kind of thinking when I top into Gold Sark or something like that, I can search it, banish it, and then get it back in two turns. But, no, nah, Mind Crush is literally to the graveyard. And it dawned on me at about the mid-end of this duel that, that, that my Heavy Storm was gone for good and, and never to be spoken to again. Very, very, very sad. Um... I have found Bianca to be what I consider the resident staller, which, hey, everybody, every person, ha every community has a stall player, like in Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and things like that. So, hey, it's really cool. I actually um, was trying to level with, with them about Final Countdown. I have a very interesting 2006 Final Countdown deck that I might show at some point, and I might have a match at some point. 2006 is a game I am interested in doing, but not near as much as 2008. I would definitely state, other than the fact 2006 has the most content of any Yu-Gi-Oh! video game that I've ever seen, 2008 is definitely where I spent most of my time uh, growing up as far as from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, what's interesting is, as I stated, most top-up Yu-Gi-Oh! content, like most 2008 Yu-Gi-Oh! content was recorded only top screen, so it never had the bottom screen recording. Now remember, this is back when we have like camera, and we didn't have DS capture boards and stuff like that. Um, I could record with a DS capture board. Um, there are a couple of caveats to that. The first caveat would actually be the fact that while using the DS capture board, the quality wouldn't be near as good. But also, it I, I, I would rather make everything look better. Let me know how the UFO Roid looks in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see how the model came out. I did rip it directly from the card. Speaking of UFO Roid Fighter, I'm going to go ahead and make it. And because uh, this thing is over 9,000, it's actually 900. I think it's 9,900 uh, currently, or 9,999. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Morphing Jar. And Bianca activates a skill drain. So there's two cool things happening in this interaction. Number one, unfortunately my amazing UFO Roy Fighter is at zero attack because of skill drain. But I won't take 9,000 plus damage uh, at the end phase of the turn because of Power Bomb. Because Power Bomb reduced the monster's attack to zero. And it was gained for 49.50 uh, two times up. So I guess... I thought Power Bond actually did residual effect damage based on the attack power of the card at the end phase of the turn. 
Whereas the fact that it became zero didn't do anything because it was based on how much attack the card gained during Power Bond. Really, really neat to see Castle of Dark Illusions as well. Uh, I'm assuming this is being used for defense only. Um, usually, when we talk about defensive decks, we talk about decks like Exodia. We talk about decks like Final Countdown. We talk about decks like even uh, Pac-Man. Um, Camel Control all, uh, wins all duels or uh, beats all noobs or owns all noobs. I forget exactly the acronym for Pac-Man. Um, something... Fl uh, flip Camel Control owns all noobs or something like that. Anyways, I've got a really cool iteration of Pac-Man myself. It's a deck that I would say closely resembles what I would clarify stall. So, Bianca's got me stiffed again. This time, a Dark Bribe into my my, my Mystical Space Typhoon to kill the Skill Drain. And then a Bait Doll on Solemn Judgment. Bianca is calling all the shots in this duel. To be fair, and they, they gave me credit in the Discord server. They hit the Heavy Storm early. And it seemed at the early game, Heavy Storm wasn't a card, a card that Bianca could out early. So that would have given me a massive advantage to something like my uh, UFO Roid Fighter and Power Bond and stuff like that. So I just decided at this point, it's all about making it over 9,000, you know what I'm saying? So I want to get all of my UFO Roid Fighter army out to the field. Uh, to do that, I can't really attack over things, but what I can do is tribute to Sangin get to Kochi, and then put UFO Roid Fighter down on the field because I've got a Power Bond face down. All I need is to be able to get out uh, or have another Gate Guardian in the hand. Anyway, we know I'm going to cross out and hit some for two cards. What's really cool about the interactions, I don't think it's actually happened yet, but there are cards. Using stuff like Bait Doll allows Bianca to shuffle it back to the deck, so it's like a different type of stall. I will say since I've come to this Yu-Gi-Oh group, I have dueled a lot of different kind of individuals and people with very creative decks, and I've got some really cool ones to show you in the recordings that I've already made. Uh, speaking of that, if you do play World Championship 2008 and you want to learn, all you gotta do is join the dis uh, Discord in the description, we can definitely help you out uh, via mobile, or if you want to do through the regular uh, DS as well. That is an option, but Melon DS is where you're going to encounter the fewest of problems as far as net play and stuff that we use. By the way, for Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008, we do use the September 2008 ban list, so do keep that in mind. So, I have truth this has given me all this life, and I guess I don't realize the whole time that I'm just slowly dying of deck out because I can't get past anything on this field, like at all, because not only do I have the skill drain holding me down with my UFO Roid Fighters being at zero attack, I also have the similar problem of the Gravity Bind. And the cool thing is, the way that this deck works, since it takes so long to get past walls, Bianca has time to get all the outs and the particular outs to cards like Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, Giant Trunade, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Anything that's going to break the gravity binds, the, um, yeah, gravity binds. I'm assuming there's also, a, but there's a really, really cool little tech, and I don't want to ruin it because it's like the best part of the duel. So let's just continue. I do top into that Gate Guardian, uh, another defensive monster set. I can actually go for another power bond. Like I said, man, I just want to get the Gate Guardian combo going. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you Gate Guardian is actually one of my favorite cards. Um, and last year when the Gate Guardian stuff got announced, like the new Gate Guardian support and the new Wall Shadow support, I have not been able to play it. So that's on me. That was last March. I never got to play it. So I know we're really focused on 2008 on this channel. However, I do want to take that extra opportunity to tell you guys there are other formats I'm interested in bringing and take a little bit of opportunity to talk about that. Uh, there's Reshuffle of Destruction, there's Forbidden Memories, there's custom card formats, there's custom Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh, when I say custom, not necessarily custom cards, but there's a lot of custom ability that I can add to Duel Links, and I'll have to go into that when we get to that. Um, however, we would have to have some kind of submission system of people actually offering different um, replays and stuff like that. So, uh, taking a bit more 
time in this video to talk about that. I would actually love more people to play, more people to be able to record, and more people to just submit replays in general. I mean, if you guys got replays, I'll happily commentate them and put them on the channel. They don't necessarily have to be me doing other people in the community server. It can be anybody, and then we can all just have this massive community server of all different people doing and I think it would be a really really great thing both for the community for the server and just for the future of it as well all right so that being said we have a very very nice onslaught of wonderful UFO Reuters UFO Royd fighters god that's a tongue twister say all that together and of course that is the key card of my deck I actually really like this model um Royds are kind of neat they're a very neat archetype uh, I forget who I was talking to on Discord the other day at the time of this recording, but they were playing against a Royd deck, and that's really, really nice to see that there's some creativity. And I love how you have Rock teched in there. Just any way to get cards back in the deck so that you don't deck out. Uh, this reminds me of, like, um, old card mill with, like, Needleworm and stuff, but I've always had a lot of really creative stuff added to it, like Assault on CHQ. Uh, but I think that's more, like, towards 2010. Um, I'm very curious. I've never asked you guys what was your favorite sets in the comment section down below or what sets are most memorable to you. These can be like Magician's Force for Dark Magician Girl, for Ronic Guardian for Dawn's Lude, or of course my personal favorite, Legacy of Darkness. Why Legacy of Darkness? There's a lot of cards I love out of it. As you've seen the first video, Ninjutsu Tactics is the first deck and one of the decks that I played competitively in real life back in that time frame and Strike Ninja was one of my favorite cards back when Return was at 2. Anyway, there's absolutely no way to break this and on this next turn I will lose the deck out and here comes the self-destruct button. What a way to draw, guys. Thank you, Bianca, for the game and thank you guys for the community support. I'll see you guys in the next duel and take care and have a good one.